Why the Golden State Warriors signing DeMarcus Cousins will happen. As you all know, I did a video as of recent talking about why DeMarcus Cousins would be a great fit for the Golden State Warriors. But in today's video, we're going to be going through five reasons or five big hints that does say that DeMarcus Cousins will be coming to Golden State Warriors very soon. So make sure you like this video. And if you do want more Golden State Warriors content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Guys, 99% of you aren't subscribed, so it'd mean the world if you could subscribe. So here's a quick clip just to show you it's not that long but it was seen that Draymond and DeMarcus Cousins are working out together now this doesn't mean they are going to be teammates but guys we've seen this happen time and time again we see players work out together in the offseason they maybe go on a couple of holidays exchange a few tweets back and forth and eventually they end up becoming teammates so I'm not saying this is guaranteed to happen because they worked out together once but I really do doubt that Draymond Green isn't in DeMarcus Cousins ear saying you know come back to the Warriors it'd be good to have you back on the roster everything of that nature and if you can see by this video there is golden state warriors logos you can see and it does say oracle it could potentially mean that they are in the bay area and maybe draymond green's getting a workout with demarcus cousins getting him used to the city again you know like i said this all is just rumor but a little things like this do eventually end up to something bigger and i think that's honestly good to see but on top of this why i think this is such a huge thing is that draymond green has given praise to demarcus cousins even in the last playoff run he said for a guy who's been through so much for a guy who spent significant time this year not being on a roster teams would be absolutely crazy if he's not on a roster going into next year he continued to say because if you think demarcus cousins can't help your team win he helped them win game four and almost carried to them to a game five win so i think this is honestly such a great quote from draymond green it does show that he has respect for a player and draymond green would definitely love to have him on the team and i think that's honestly fantastic to see it shows the camaraderie is still there and i do see a lot of comments saying that demarcus cousins has already played for the warriors and he didn't do anything and yes guys i do agree with that however you do have to understand that he was really badly injured now that demarcus cousins is healthy you see what he's capable of doing and you definitely did see that when he played for the denver nuggets and like i said draymond green did give him praise and he did say that he is definitely a standout star and he he helps teams win and I really highly doubt that Draymond Green wouldn't want that on the Golden State Warriors so I think the camaraderie between the two is honestly very strong and hopefully this does rejoin the two great teammates but let's move on to reason number two and reason number two is that Steve Kerr seems to want DeMarcus Cousins back if the option was there now as you all know they did verse DeMarcus Cousins in that Denver series and DeMarcus Cousins did play a really good series and Steve Kerr after all of it happened in the press conference of that series he actually said this he said i also just want to mention how happy i am for demarcus cousins you know obviously i wanted to win but that guy put his heart on the line for us several years ago and he's been through hell torn achilles torn acl he's a great guy he was a great teammate here and really really fun for me to see him play so well i can't say that now because we won he had a great series so there's some great words coming from steve kerr and i think it does does show that not only just Steve Kerr showing praise, we also see Draymond Green showing praise, that the team really do miss having someone like DeMarcus Cousins. Obviously, he is a hot ticket item, so a lot of teams are going to want someone like Cousins on their roster. But for now, as you see, Cousins is still a free agent, and it does show that the Golden State Warriors are looking at that opportunity to take advantage of getting someone like Cousins, especially if they can get him for a veteran minimum. I think that will really play a huge part if Cousins is willing to accept a veteran minimum for them to honestly go all the way and just sign him right here right now cousins may want to play somewhere else where he would get more minutes but it does seem that demarcus does want to win a championship and that's why he has been moving from great team to another great team you know i think he did join the golden state warriors first of all to try to win a title he wasn't able to he's moved to great teams such as the nuggets and all that so it does seem that he may put a title win over money as of right now so it will be interesting to see how how it all plays out but what's good to see from all of this is that you know not only Draymond Green but also Steve Kerr would love to have him back and coach him again reason number three is DeMarcus Cousins wanting to sign to a championship team so this kind of relates to what I said a little bit before but what I mean by this is a lot of people are very skeptical on why DeMarcus Cousins hasn't signed with the team just as of yet and I know a lot of you are probably thinking oh what is he waiting for what he's actually waiting for and a lot of NBA players do this this actually was 
said by a lot of GMs and also agents that you know really have a uh, high status players and they deal with their contracts is that they kind of wait till the end or of the end of the off season in order to make the best decision on what's the best team to join because you know there's still players or hot ticket players that are still on the market so Kevin Durant still might be traded somewhere we also have Kyrie Irving that might be traded somewhere DeAndre Aiden he recently did match the offer when it comes to the Suns matching the offer from Pacers so he's definitely staying in the Suns and then we also have other teams that could make some big blockbuster trips the signings when it comes to you know Kevin Durant even being traded even if KD gets traded to I don't even know the Lakers I'd still have money that the Golden State Warriors can take them down and I think that's honestly a really good sign you know Cousins like I said was working out with Draymond Green and for sure Draymond was telling him how it is but I think this is honestly why DeMarcus hasn't signed with the team just yet he's waiting to see all the roster spots and then he's going to make his decision on the team to join that has the best chance of winning but as of right now what I look at when it comes to all these teams is none of these teams have the discipline they have the, they don't have the chemistry that the Golden State Warriors have and I'm telling you right now for DeMarcus Cousins the Golden State Warriors would be the best pick for him so I definitely think he does see that as well you know working out with Draymond Green that's obviously not a coincidence so I think he does know that there is a lot of hope when it comes to Golden State Warriors running it back to back for another championship so reason number four is that the Golden State Warriors front office are going to do whatever it takes to sign DeMarcus Cousins now what I mean by this I know I've talked about the veteran minimum and obviously the Golden State Warriors would love to sign a great player like DeMarcus Cousins at such a cheap price but the owners over at Golden State Warriors have made it known that they are willing to do whatever it takes to win a championship and money is not an issue so Joe Lakeham was actually recently on Andre Iguodala's podcast and Evan Turner point forward and he actually said this he said the truth of the matters is that I'm only about one thing that's winning and winning championships. I'm maniacal. That's all I care about. That's it. We've done really well. We've won four in eight years, made six finals in eight years. They just didn't think he was necessary in order for them to win another championship. And it did come to a surprise to a lot of people, especially us Golden State Warriors fans. But, you know, like I said, if they did see him as valuable as they should have, you know, I honestly think GP the second was a great player to have in the roster, but unfortunately they didn't. But when it comes to that, guys, like I said, money wasn't really an issue. They were willing to sign him, even if it put them well above the bracket when it comes to luxury tax. So, you know, that's why I think is really important. Although DeMarcus Cousins, they would love to sign him for a veteran minimum. If DeMarcus comes back saying, you know, I want five mil, I want 10 mil. I really don't see Joe Lacob and Bob Myers, the GM, actually saying no to that. They are willing to do that if that does mean they win another championship. Now, not getting into too much specifics, but the reason why this is such a big thing for some Someone like Joe Lacob to win championships is because championships really do bring the value of the organization up. You know, like they've mentioned before, the Golden State Warriors are now, you know, one of the most winningest organizations besides Lakers and Boston who have been here for a while. You know, for Golden State Warriors to be such a young organization and to put so many finals or so many championships on their uh, list of resume, I think is honestly fantastic. It does boost the value of Golden State Warriors. So, you know, Joe Lacob or, you know, know someone else some of the other owners decide to sell obviously guys it's more cha-ching for them so i think honestly you know it's a business move from their perspective but they obviously want to see the team win so i think demarcus cousins if he does come back saying you know i want five i want 10 mil i really don't see golden state warriors denying him that if they think it's necessary and you know like i've said we've had steve kerr talk about it we've had draymond green talk about him you know i really do think that steph and clay feel the same and you know if they all come to you know bob Meyer and say, yo, we want DeMarcus Cousins back. I'm really sure that it's going to be a very, very interesting offseason when it comes to where DeMarcus Cousins sign. But Golden State Warriors is definitely on the top of his list. Reason number five is DeMarcus Cousins definitely knows that he would fit perfectly with the Golden State Warriors system and their roster. Now, if you're a big man, seven foot, an absolute bully in the paint, who would you want as your teammates? You'd probably want shooters around you. And why not have the two? So I honestly do think DeMarcus 
Demarcus Cousins definitely does see that and he does see that very enticingly because you know when it came to Kevon Looney he had the paint to himself when it comes to Demarcus Cousins he's gonna have the paint to himself as well so let me know down in the comments what you think guys thank you so much for watching today's video do you think Demarcus Cousins will sign with the Golden State Warriors I honestly think it's an 80 probably like 80 percent chance 70 percent chance so I got some good feelings let me know down in the comments and uh yeah guys I'll see you soon peace